The real breakdown in female pleasure, especially if we're heterosexual, is that the world operates on the male model of sexual response. The female model is very, very different. (laughs) Right, Laura? (laughs) Yes. And when we try to fit ourselves into the male model, that's when we feel like we failed. So male model, quick arousal. They look down, they have a heart on. That is very handy. (laughs) That a part of your body triples in size and then you know you're aroused. Penetration, ejaculation, refractory period. They need to take a break. Kinsey put the average of penetration to ejaculation at five minutes. Mm-hmm. Let's give him 10. Yes. <laughs> We're going to be generous. Female <laughs> model of sexual response. Little waves of good feelings that come in and go away. Now, most of right. us, the first time it goes away, we stop because we only know the male model and we say, oh my God, I lost my orgasm. I failed. Mm-hmm. If we keep stimulating our bodies, the wave gets bigger and bigger and bigger and bigger and bigger. Right. And it takes time for our erection. We can't see it. So, you know, we've got to give ourselves 20 minutes. Betty said 20 to 30 um, in order to, for your clitoris, internal clitoris to become fully erect. So we can feel pleasure along the way. That's what those little waves are about. Mm-hmm. But um we're not going to, it's, it's not an immediate process. It's a long, we're, we're like slow cookers. Um, and, and men are like microwave ovens. It's like done right away. And we need to give ourselves time because our erectile tissue, we have as much as a penis is on the inside. So it takes longer. So it takes about 10, 15 minutes just to get all of that erectile tissue filled with blood. So you can have a quick orgasm by going right on your clit, firing those 8,000 nerve endings, but it doesn't feel satisfying and it's over quickly. So that's why with the rock and roll, we breathe, we work the pelvic floor Mm -hmm. and we combine clitoral stimulation with vaginal penetration. And we have Mm -hmm. to enjoy the good feelings along the way. Yes. And accept what comes up for you, Carolyn. Like what, you know, you were talking about those little waves of pleasure. Don't stop. That's not your orgasm. You know, keep it going and it will build. Give yourself time for your erection and your clitoral energy to build. And it's kind of like accepting, right? We have to Mm -hmm. come from a place of generosity and acceptance. Orgasms, like when we feel safe and relaxed and it's fun. (laughs) right? Mm -hmm. So explore your vulva. There's so many different erogenous zones. Play with your hands and your vibes, combine them, uh, take breaks, see what happens if you try a different position. There's no right way or wrong way. There's just your way. Oh, and remember, as a woman, you won't lose your erection the way a man does. That's the model. That's what we're used to seeing. So we think that happens to us too. No, your erection stays. That's why women are multi-orgasmic. Um, so it's okay to take a break. And if you feel the f- sensation come in and out, know that it will come back. We're coming from abundance. Women are really bottomless pits of pleasure. So you can't okay. lose your erection. So if you feel an orgasm wave come in and it goes away, breathe, relax. Mm-hmm. You can go pee. You can get a snack and go back. And no one can tell you when to go back. It's like when you feel itchy again and (laughs) you want to go back to it. But it's this kind of much more open, relaxed, playful experience. Get to know your body. Trust your body. Listen to yourself and believe in yourself. 